So earlier this week, I finished my 48-hour challenge to eat 200 chicken nuggets. Um, the second day, I got up to go in early. So I'm riding in early today, just so I can get to McDonald's and start eating chicken nuggets. Only to be thwarted by the fact that McDonald's doesn't serve chicken nuggets. In fact, they only serve breakfast until 10.30. So, I got some at 10.30, and I started eating them that day. I got more and brought them home at night, um, and I ended up not being able to finish all the ones I brought home. It was just too much for me to eat. I ended up needing to eat 40 in the morning and my morning ended up being pretty busy so it got to the point where I needed to eat about one a minute for the last 25 and I was just way too full. I couldn't do it. So I ended up with only 178 nuggets out of the 200. So I failed some people say it was just, you know, that I didn't get enough in early. It was kind of a logistical problem. But really, I felt pretty uh, lethargic, and I think it was just mainly trying to eat so much protein um, actually requires a lot of energy. Up to maybe 30% of the calories that you get from consuming protein go into digesting it. So I felt like my circulation wasn't as good. Um, I definitely wasn't biking as fast. I was done at noon having eaten 178, which is a lot of calories. It's like 9,000 calories. Um, but I was already uh, hungry again by dinner time. There weren't really any long-term effects. Um, my digestion wasn't very good for maybe 12 hours, which is to be expected from just eating way too much food that is not that easy to digest. So I don't really um, regret trying, but it wasn't really that fun. It's just I'm not very good at eating a lot of food. I'm not a competitive eater at all. And chicken nuggets aren't some, you know, terrible artificial food that is just going to ruin your day necessarily. Um, it's just kind of a, a pain to digest them. It takes a lot of energy. I don't know. I think people make a little bit too much uh, out of, you know, things being seeming cheaper and therefore being less healthy or being artificial and, and therefore being less healthy. And humans are capable of living on all kinds of ridiculous different kinds of food uh, and adapting them to uh, adapting to them pretty well. Uh, but of course if you're not used to eating certain kinds of food it can be a, kind of a shock to your system. But I could definitely see how you know eating all that food wasn't very good for me in terms of being healthy and exercising well, and yet having eaten all that food, I was still pr very soon thereafter hungry for more food. I could see that, you know, if I tried, I could turn myself into an unhealthy person who eats, um, you know, just because getting into that cycle can uh, cause you not to be able to exercise well and just to feel um, still hungry, but. Um, not really satisfied. Yeah, I wouldn't really recommend this challenge to anyone else, um, especially if you have to buy a bunch of chicken nuggets and eat them later when they're cold, they get really gross, they get really uh, sort of solid, and I think McDonald's has put a lot of work into uh, making them seem uh, moist while they're still warm when they're fresh. Um, that doesn't really work so well later on. Anyhow, that's probably it for me taking weird eating challenges. Um, let me know what you think in the comments.